Hello, I'm Hao Ming from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. In this video, I will introduce our paper titled Trajectory-Wise Iterative Reinforcement Learning Framework for Auto Bidding. In online advertising, numerous advertisers participate in ad auctions where they submit bids to compete for ad impressions. Due to the complex advertising environments, auto bidding tools are commonly utilized by advertisers to optimize their advertising performance. Bidding for arriving ad impressions can be viewed as a sequential decision making problem, so, state of the art auto bidding algorithms often use reinforcement learning to train bidding policies. A commonly used RL training paradigm in large-scale bidding systems is iterative offline RL. Basically, we deploy a large number of auto-bidding agents to collect a large amount of data in parallel, and then we train a policy on the collected dataset with offline RL. The trained policy could again be deployed for further data collection, which results in an iterative training framework. However, in this paper, we identify a problem that hinders the effectiveness of this framework. First, in each iteration, we should gather sufficient information about the environment. This often requires randomness in the exploration policy. The randomness hurts the exploration policy's performance, and then the performance of the train policy in this iteration is also limited due to the conservatism principle of offline error algorithms. In this work, we tackle this challenge by adopting a trajectory perspective for both the exploration process and the exploitation, that is, the offline error training process. We propose trajectory-wise exploration and exploitation. Apart from effectiveness, we also consider safety constraints during online exploration in real-world advertising systems. Safety means that the performance drop caused by exploration should not exceed a threshold. We propose safe exploration by adaptive action selection, which ensures theoretically guaranteed safety while preserving data quality. We summarize the contributions of our work. We identify the performance bottleneck of existing iterative offline error framework. Then we proposed algorithms considering both effectiveness and safety of the framework. We also conducted extensive experiments, both offline and online. Details of the proposed algorithms can be found in our paper. Thanks for watching.